Jay Leno, $650 million net worth and rare car collection. Leno was born on April 28, 1950 in New Rochelle, New York. His homemaker mother, Catherine Nae Muir, was born in Greenock, Scotland, and came to the United States at the age of 11. His father, Angelo, was an insurance salesman and was born in New York to immigrants from Flumeri, Italy. Leno grew up in Andover, Massachusetts and graduated from Andover High School. He obtained a bachelor's degree in speech therapy from Emerson College. His older brother Patrick was a Vietnam War veteran who became an attorney. Leno made his first appearance on The Tonight Show on March 2, 1977, performing a comedy routine. In 1992, he replaced Carson as host amid controversy with David Letterman, who had been hosting Late Night with David Letterman since 1982, which aired after The Tonight Show with whom many, including Carson himself, expected to be Carson's successor. In 2004, Leno signed a contract extension with NBC to retain him as host of The Tonight Show until 2009. Later in 2004, Conan O'Brien signed a contract with NBC to become the show's host in 2009, replacing Leno at the time. Because Leno's show continued to lead all late-night programming in the Nielsen ratings, the pending expiration of his contract led to speculation about whether he would become a late-night host for another network when his commitment to NBC expired. He left The Tonight Show on Friday, May 29, 2009 and Conan O'Brien took over on June 1 that year. On April 3, 2013, NBC announced that Leno would leave The Tonight Show in spring 2014 with Jimmy Fallon as his designated successor. Leno has maintained an active schedule as a touring stand-up comedian doing an average of 200 live performances a year in venues across the United States and Canada and at charity events and USO tours. Leno's comedic influences include Johnny Carson, Robert Klein, Alan King, David Brenner, Mort Saul, George Carlin, Don Rickles, Bob Newart, and Rodney Dangerfield. Dennis Miller and Jerry Seinfeld have credited Leno as their inspiration. Leno has claimed that he has not spent any of the money he earned from The Tonight Show, but lives off of his money from his stand-up routines. Leno has been married to Mavis Leno since 1980, and they have no children. In 2001, he and his wife donated $100,000 to the Feminist Majority Foundation's campaign to stop gender apathy in Afghanistan to educate the public regarding the plight of women in Afghanistan under Taliban rule. Mavis Leno is on the board of the Feminist Majority. In 2009, he donated $100,000 to a scholarship fund at Salem State College, now Salem State University, in honor of Lenny Sogoloff, who gave Leno his start at his jazz club, Lenny's on the Turnpike. In August 2012, Leno auctioned his Fiat 500, which was sold for $385,000 with all the proceeds going to a charity that helps wounded war veterans recover by providing them with temporary housing. Jay Leno's net worth, including his rare car collection, is $650 million. Jay Leno's legendary car collection now boasts over 180 exotic cars, hypercars, and antique grade vehicles. Put simply, nobody else in the world has a Space H McLaren P1 parked near their antique fire engine. Yet over the years, Jay has also added several affordable, attainable, and dare I say, normal cars to his collection. These were cars that cost well under 70,000 new and yet still managed to grab Jay's attention for some special reason. Let's take a look at some of the most surprisingly affordable cars in Jay Leno's collection. He has a 1996 Mazda Miata priced at $18,450. Jay Leno himself seems to agree, quote, this is all I really need. He said on an episode of Jay Leno's Garage, Plenty of power, fun to drive, good handling. That comes from a man who put 12,000 miles on a McLaren F1. Addressing the Miata's top criticism, its lack of acceleration, Leno said, quote, It's not about going fast, it's about going swiftly. End quote. Even so, how can a roadster whose fundamentals haven't changed since 1989 continue to sell the competition? 
Quote, you can add horsepower or you can take off the weight. Taking off weight's a little better. End quote. Next, he has a 2011 Chevrolet Volt priced at $41,000. It's the car I use to run errands. And when it's raining, bad weather, when I have to go to the airport, it's a great everyday car. He told the press at the 2011 Los Angeles Auto Show. His next vehicle is a 2005 Mazda RX-8 which is priced at $25,000. In their fuel newsletter, Mazda claimed the gift was also a thank you present for Leno's public endorsement of the risky new RX-8 platform. It was also a thank you for his recent acquisition of the world's first rotary-powered sports car, the 1968 Mazda Cosmo Mark II. The 1999 Chevrolet Corvette Coupe is priced at $39,000, but his modest Corvette, a regular C5, happens to be one of his favorites, in part because of how he got it. Back in 1999, the organizers of the Indy 500 asked Jay to drive the pace car. He did, and as a thank you, they handed him the keys to a used demo C5. The Ariel Atom, priced at $42,000, is what you get when you strip all the unnecessary bits from a Miata and feed it a ghost pepper. Originally handmade in Somerset, England, the Ariel Atom became an international sensation after it melted Jeremy Clarkson's face on Top Gear. Demand quickly rose outside of the UK and Ariel eventually signed a deal with Bramo Motorsports in Oregon to start producing US models. Jay naturally bought number 001. Quote, there's no doors, no windshield, there's no windows, there's nothing other than what you need to go fast. Handle and stop. And it does its job brilliantly, Leno explains. He also has a 2012 Tata Nano priced at $1,334. Conceived by India's Tata Motors, the parent company of Jaguar Land Rover, the endearing Nano was designed to give Indian families a major upgrade from a motorcycle without breaking the bank. While Jay's Ritzy Nano cost around $2,700, the Nano's very first adopters in India scored theirs for as little as $1,334. Adjusted for inflation, the Nano's base MSRP is one-sixth the price of the original Beetle and one-twentieth the price of a Model T. Fun fact, the Nano comes with a rear engine, rear-wheel drive, and was styled in Italy, meaning it's probably the closest Jay will ever come to owning a Ferrari. This is followed by a 2015 Ford Mustang Shelby GT350R which is priced at $65,620. You know things are getting serious and the ride is going to get stiff when car companies start putting R in their model names. But the 2015 Shelby GT350R represents more than just a stiffer Mustang with carbon fiber wheels. As Jay himself puts it, quote, This is really the pinnacle of Mustang development. I think this has probably the greatest engine currently being produced in America today. End quote. Having driven a GT350R around Atlanta Motorsports Park, I can attest that the car's greatest draw isn't raw power or performance. It's the sound. Sure, GT350Rs like Jays are pretty unattainable now, but you can still get the same glorious engine note from its slightly more tamed stablemate, the GT350. He also has a 2008 Dodge Challenger SRT8 priced at $165,000. Jay owns two of the most desirable challengers ever built, a 2015 Hellcat and a 1970 RT that he playfully admits, quote, was like the scariest car in the world when I was a kid. However, slotted between the two is his oft-forgotten, much more attainable 2008 Challenger SRT8. There's even footage of him heading to the local dealership to buy it, joking about the tedious paperwork. Representing one of America's first attempts at a luxury truck, the 2000 Ford F-150 Harley-Davidson, priced at $165,000, is also one of the vehicles Jay Leno owns. Thanks in part to its relative affordability, the F-150 Harley-Davidson edition went on to become the luxury truck sales hit that the Lincoln Blackwood wasn't. It wasn't too shabby on performance either, hitting 60 in 6.4 seconds.
Lastly, a 2012 Tesla Model S priced at $165,000 is one of Leno's last cars that we will be featuring today. Looking back at that walkaround, it seems doubtful that either Jay or even Tesla's own chief designer, Franz von Holchhausen, could have predicted what a global sensation the Model S would go on to be. Those are a few of the cars that Jay loves driving. His Beverly Hills estate is priced at $8.85 million. The house has 5 bedrooms and 6 bathrooms with over 6,300 square feet of space. This is one of the fantastic homes of Jay Leno. Furthermore, it sits just over a half-acre lot. This is a single-family home that was built in 1978. Additionally, the property is in good physical condition, but underwent many renovations since it was built. It has 5 bedrooms, 6 bathrooms, a pool, a jacuzzi spa, as well as a guest house for guests. It has a great view of downtown Los Angeles and Beverly Hills. His Newport estate is priced at $13.5 million. It's common knowledge in real estate circles that Jay Leno and his wife Mavis of 40 years bought a Newport RI mansion for $13.5 million in 2017. But the story of how the former Tonight Show host found Seafair, a 15,861 square foot Louis XIV inspired chateau, is less known. Seafair was designed and built by British architect William Mackenzie Jr. for Werner Zavola Reed Jr., a banker and heir to a mining fortune. The estate sits on 9 acres and features a slate roof and rubble stone construction. The home boasts an inimitable crescent-shaped design that follows the curve of the land and allows for expansive use of the Atlantic. The gated compound has a tennis court, an infinity pool, a carriage cottage, a six-car garage, and private beaches. The main home has 12 bedrooms and 13 bathrooms and features a paneled library, a formal dining room, and a chef's kitchen. Quote, I think high self-esteem is overrated. A little low self-esteem is actually quite good. Maybe you're not the best, so you should work a little harder. End quote. Jay Leno Keep tuning in our channel, Luxury Max, to find out more about the latest reward trends of the super rich, where we will be creating quality content videos for you to enjoy. Make sure to hit the like and subscribe button and feel free to comment down on what videos we should be talking about next. Thank you for listening, and we'll see you guys in the next video.